Hey, welcome back to the channel, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me here on Music with Tab That Better. My head's really big on the screen. Oops, sorry. Uh, I'm so glad you guys are here. I uh, really do appreciate you uh, hanging out and checking out some music with me. And people have been asking for uh, Fate's Warning for the longest time, you know. Uh, uh, not a lot of people, but over a long time, people have been asking for it. And so today's the day we are going to be into it. So uh, I think that... Uh, this is a pretty popular band from what I can from what I can gather uh, at least people that like them like them and that's kind of the way I am even if they're not popular if I like them I like them we're looking at like I said fate war fate's warning um, the album is long day good night from 2020 so fairly recent uh, it's got 13 songs and it's an hour and 12 minutes and we were recommended the longest shadow of the day which is an 11 and tw 11 minute 29 second epic, which you know how I love my epics. The long songs are what I like. So uh, let's not waste a bunch of time jibber jabber. And I want you to shut up, would you please? I'm trying to listen to music. I didn't expect jazz. Is it the Talking Heads with Adrian Ballou? So far, I wasn't expecting this. Long song, plenty of time to develop. Might as well throw some bass solos.
drummer.
That did not feel like 11 and a half minutes to me. That was so cool. Uh, yeah, that's kind of what I've expected. But in the beginning, I mean, there was so much in there that, that I mean, not what I expected. I guess I just expected them to be kind of hard driving with killer guitar. I don't know why I always had that fate warning, just like that feel. But I didn't know it would be this good. And they would have so many other influences in there. Uh, man, the drums and the bass were so good in this song. So, so, so good. But you can't really discount the guitars in here either because the guitars were just flying. Just so, such killer leads. And they were so clean and crisp too. I mean, in, in, you could hear every single note. Uh, great vocals, great vocals, super good. Uh, kind of theatrical sounding a little bit, um, but nonetheless, still really good. Um was an interesting his 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 uh melody was interesting against that uh sort of he was he was like taking that sort of staccato sort of uh, upbeat uh funky sort of rhythm and he was singing slower taking more time with his words kind of against that backdrop it was an interesting uh technique in the way he did that which i thought suited the song and suited his voice perfectly uh, you know, so worked out for me. Fate's warning was way beyond what I expected. I, I don't know what I expected, but I didn't expect that. Um, although I knew people liked them a lot, you know, so I knew they were going to be good. Uh, I just didn't know what kind of good, you know, and, uh, boy, that sounded really good. I mean, it sounded loud in my headphones and the production was really, really nice. Uh, so you know, they've done a great job. And that album, what did I say, was 2020? So pretty, pretty new. Uh, let's see, do they have any other albums? Looks like that's the newest one. Let's see, I don't, I don't want that. Yeah, so that's their latest album, is The the Long Good Night uh, from Fate's Warning. But uh, wow, they've been around since 1984. Holy smokes. You know, I've this is one, another one of those bands. I, I've heard their name, but I never got into them. I don't, I, you know, it's, that's bizarre. 1984, so I was 20 years old in 1984. And now I am 58. You do the math. I'm too old to do the math. That's a long time. That was a long time. I was a child when they put their first album out. Yeah. Night on Brocken. So let's see, cool picture of them on their cover. Where are they from? They've been a formidable presence in the progressive metal for over 35 years. Yeah, geez. Uh, helping to shape the genre without ever compromising to their integrity or losing relevance. Uh, so um, let's see. Oh, so they have a guitarist, uh, Jim Mathos, for, and he was touring with Queens Reich. But I still don't see where these guys are from. 
don't know why I'd like to know that. I just like to know that they're playing, they're touring, and they're all over the world. So they're an international band. Yeah, so let's see. There's their various home studios in Los Angeles. Are they American? Are they? Let's see. Recorded a small video or, or a re small studio in Madrid uh, during the lockdowns. Okay, so we don't know about that. I don't know. You're going to have to tell me. You're going to have to tell me. Are these guys American? Or who, who, where are they from? But that was really, really good. I was thoroughly impressed and thoroughly enjoyed that 11 and a half minute epic. Really cool. That was fun. Good stuff there. All all of the musicians. I mean, top notch. Great, great tones on all their instruments. Just the tones were just like spectacular. Uh, lots of uh, surprises and, and uh, especially coming in with sort of a jazzy sort of feel. There were some runs that were a little jazzy, a couple chords that was like, hey, what's going on here? And then um, and that bass was just like just thumping so hard. Just kind of, and then finally, when the music came in harder, it's like, oh man, it was way harder than I expected it. You know, it's like it really came in. So really good stuff. All right, this is going on a little bit long because it was a long song. But anyways, uh, thank you. I guess I appreciate you guys being here with me, and uh, make sure you like and subscribe to the video and all that kind of stuff. It really helps me out. And uh, you can uh, recommend songs over on Ko-Fi or join me on Patreon. I'm trying to get that going. I got a lot of videos over there that aren't on YouTube. Uh, and uh, good stuff. I did. I did an Opeth live album over there recently, and a Leprous album, Cole over there. And I put a couple of the songs on the uh, on the other platforms, but uh, I got the whole album over there. So it's a whole album review. Super fun. As you remember, I saw Leprous last week or a week a week and a half ago or so. Super great. So fun. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much. We will see you later and uh, down in the comments. And I'll meet you there and we'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.